Well, here we are today, guys, at the Freshwater Farm Reserve. Caitlin, my mom and dad are just Amy and Grandpa are here, Fred <laughs> and Ann. Say hey, uh, say hi, kid. Hi. Anyways, we're going to check out this cool apple press. And this wonderful lady, what's your name? Sarah Bora. Sarah, I'm Brian. Hi, Brian. Nice to meet you. Thank you. And feel free to explain what you got going on here. Okay, so this is my grinder. I've got an electric grinder going here. And then this is a really cool part if you want to come see Oh, this so here. cool. So I'm pressing the apples. I've already ground up this batch of apples. Nice. Now, are you making the apple juice? Is that what this is, or cider? Cider is unfiltered apple juice. Oh, well, there you go. That's, That's an easy question answer. Thank yep. you. Hard cider is alcoholic. Oh. Processed apple juice. Uh -huh, so I right see. now I'm pressing the batch I just ground, and if you watch this, it's going to come pouring out. Oh, look at that, yeah. This is the best. Part. And the bees seem to like it. <laughs> I could name all the bees here. They're so few. Oh, really? Yeah. You got there pets. Are not many bees this year. They're your helpers. Oh. I'm sorry to hear there's not a lot of them. Yeah, that's I've had sad. years where there have been like you know, 40 or 60. And yeah. I've got five maybe today. Wow. And that's a lot. We've done a little unit in class about bees. And yeah, sad to see them. in action, and it's sad to see them disappearing more frequently. Yeah, what do you think? There's apple juice done. So this is the apple juice pouring out. Right there. Yeah, it's cold. Yeah, and I kind of let it rest. Apple. I don't want to go like super hard because if you ever put your palms together, it's a good exercise in class. Put your palms together and press, Ooh. and you get suction. Yeah, that's right. So if you press this too hard, you get suction, and it doesn't pour out. So you press it just enough to get it running, and then you let it rest. I and see. then you press it some more. I see. It's a gradual process. Yeah. So this is the last so of my cool. pear juice. Just pours it in there. there. All right into the gallon jug. Ready to be given to someone or sold. <laughs> or made into hard cider. Or made into hard cider. So this was about a box of pears I just did in the one gallon. Oh, cool. Mm -hmm. Didn't take them. That's pretty neat. You want to go see the lady? No? And then I'm getting ready here to grind another batch. Yeah. Oh, very nice. So now, this neat. press is so cool because you can grind and press at the same time. At the same time. Wow. And I'm hoping other people show. These are just my apples today. Oh, wow. I'm here so other people can bring their apples in and do that. Well, that's a cool service. Wow. Well, if we had an apple tree, we would do that. Yeah. Go hit up the neighborhood. Yeah. Yeah, I guess we could. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Yeah, so we got the fruit goes in. It's all the pressing. It seems like it doesn't seem like it's that complicated of a mechanism. Nope, it's just a motor that spins this drum if you want to get your camera down. Yeah, it kind of that zooms in a on. little far, but we can <laughs> yeah. try to get a shot of it in there. So it's just this drum that's got these teeth on it that grinds up the oh. apple bits. Oh, very good. Huh. This that's just cool. keeps all the bits from flying out. Oh, very cool. Yeah, yeah, right. You can just keep dumping them in. Wow. This is so cool. And you can smell the apples. Boy, you can just smell it in the air. It just smells wonderful. Yep, there goes that hole. If you put all of them in there, they're gone. More coming. Yeah. family. Say hello. Wow, cool. Hello, family. Hey, hey, Miss Mrs. Graves. There she is. Hi, guys. Hey, old grandpa over there. Are you hearing us? There he goes. He's kind of hard of hearing, guys, but, you know, we love him even more because of it. Boy, that's a big jug. Easier than filling individual jars. Yeah, how many gallons is that? About three or so? That's three. This three is a gallon? case of jars, this, this one. Oh, cool. All that says right there, three gallon refill. So 
that'll fill 12 jars. 12 jars, wow. And this is separate because it's pear juice. Okay, and that's the pear juice. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. So I, I press it once and then I roll the bag. Okay. And you just do it all over again. Oh, wow. Go to pigs. Oh, so this is... The pigs like to eat this stuff. Well, I bet they love this stuff. Oh, they go crazy. Oh, I would say so. Oh, look at that. And she's unwinding it to get ready to drop it in again there. Wow. So, so there's a little extra coming out, I see. My high-tech filter bags or pillowcases. All right, pillowcases. You know what? It doesn't take much. That is just smart. This used to be white. The apple juice will stain it. Okay, yeah, so don't use any. If you don't want a pillowcase stained brown, don't use it. Yeah, don't use a brown <laughs> Or just use a brown pillowcase. Yeah. Your hands will turn black. By the end of the day, Interesting. Like dirt all day. Is there a special soap or something you use to get it all off, or does it no. just come off pretty all right? Um, it's just the acid. Okay. Hands, so oh, yeah. By the hey. end of the fall, I have black hands. Wow, wow. That's something you don't really know about pressing apples. You don't learn that every day. You have to learn it straight from the source, the, the professional here. I do three to five hundred gallons. I'm wow. Up to wow, that is a lot. Do you guys so sell that here or do you sell yeah. it at different markets? No, I just sell here. And then mm -hmm. my big thing that I gear up for is the medieval festival in October. Oh, cool. Year, so I don't know if it's happening this year. Yeah, I know all about so that festival. Kind of uh, getting there. Right. My son and I do an apple press and then the cider, cider cider. Yeah, boy, back in the good old days before they used the big pumpkin patch, they would use. Perigo Park at Blue Lake. Uh -huh. I used to be the caretaker of that park okay, yeah, we and I would organize that with people. Oh yes, my friend Gary. He, he's big in that, big yeah. into that. Yes. That was fun. We did that. One. I love it out there. I lived there for six years, right there in the park. Okay. Yep, right there. So the second time I don't get nearly as much out of it, but right. usually one of these pressings is about a gallon. Man, this is just so cool. And this, this does look like it's been handmade by someone, it really, is. I the, mean. The company's here on the front. They're oh, handmade cool. up in I'm Oregon. It's four it. generations. Oh, in Oregon. So you got to get on a waiting list because they do them one at a time. Well, I was born in Medford, Oregon. So just outside of Eugene. Just outside of Eugene. Okay. And yeah. it's really cool. It's well designed. Everything's rounded. Oh, this thing has enough that you can be working in here and not whack yourself in the head. That's smart. Yeah. The corners are off. I mean, wow. there's just such you know, yeah. and pressure. Yeah, it works. It's functional. It looks good. You can be pressing and grinding. Wow. The and then thing. you have this simple uh, little motor here. It's a split phase. Okay. Wow. It doesn't machine. take a lot of power to run this little motor either. Just enough to grind. My goodness, it's only at a 115 and volts and 7 amps. That's good. Hey. Wow. Yeah, I, I like this. I've done over a thousand gallons and I've had it. Boy, that's a lot of good work put into this this guy. Now, is this just called an apple press? Is that the name for it? Okay, it's an apple press. And there's all the different ones. If we go inside, you can see my hand grinder one that I Oh, had on neat. The that would be cool. I bring that one out because if we got a lot of people, I need at least three people dedicated with to it. help you with it. Right, right. You can right. Run two presses and the grinder at the same time. That's very cool. So that speeds things up. And this has uh, wheels on it too, so yep. you can and they have good traction. You can get it off into the grass like this. Perfect. I did upgrade the wheels when I got it. Okay. Okay, that would make sense. Gotta have a good set of wheels. All right. Cool. Wow. Well, hey, thank you. I'm going to go ahead and pause the video for now while we peruse around, but if you do happen to go to your other grinder, we'd love to see that. Oh, sure, we'd love to see that. Oh, yeah, there we go. Beautiful. I'll follow you in there and check out the other one. This is so fun. Okay. It's okay, son. I'll be right back. Oh, he wants to come, too, that kid. He is so curious. This is my other one. This is one I bring out to medieval. Oh, look at this. this oh, this looks one. medieval. Oh, yeah. man. So this is, you got a hand grind. Okay, okay, I see. So that's the difference. And yep. I can do in about three hours, I can do three gallons on this. That's still I can do good. 12 gallons on Wow. That. The hand grind, you just, that's a good workout for your arms, I yeah. imagine. And you got to chop all the apples on this Okay, because they can't go in. The you can just dump them in apple after apple. Oh, wow.
Now, what happens to all the seeds? Do they fall into that pulp, that, that, those drippings afterwards? Not into the juice, because I'm filtering it through the bag. Yeah, that's so. what the pillowcase was for. Exactly. That is so cool. Wow. And they don't get, it's not such a fine grind that it's not sure. up the, sure. the seeds themselves, so you're not getting, you know, the arsenic from the seeds. It's right, like, right. No, you don't want that. Yeah. Well, thank you. Well, what a cool little behind-the-scenes tour. Wow, what a cool barn, guys. This thing is massive. Whoa. Oh, wow. Bring your own apples, press, uh, bring your own jars. Well, that is so nice. I know Miller Farms isn't running their apple press this year, nor is Kenny at the brew store, so I'm kind of the only one around. Okay, okay. I'm encouraging people to get your apples. That's so good. They could come out on the 19th and bring their own apples and get them pressed. What a wonderful thing. And learn how to do it yourself even. Wow. Well, Sarah, thank you so much. My goodness, what an honor this has been. I hope that more people come out for your apple pressing today. We are truly grateful for the behind the scenes tour. I think we're gonna take a little walk around the perimeter and see what's what. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. <laughs> bye. Bye. <laughs> okay, guys. See you next time.